Hi, this is Jason Long, one of the famous people that are cool. Today, I'm going to introduce the one that really meant something to me. The person that, like, um, you probably know very well, if not the name, at least the character she plays. She's currently playing Judy Hale in Dead to Me. Of course, most of you know her as Velma from the Scooby-Doo films. But to me, when I first noticed this one actress, she played the iconic, at least in my opinion, Lindsay Weir. On my, one of my favorite shows of all time, Freaks and Geeks. Her name is Linda Cardellini. I want to tell you why. Linda is like one of the cool people in Hollywood, not like most of the fakes. The reason why she's cool, though, is because she doesn't go out and act in a fool like on the internet. She doesn't cause any real controversies. She does her job. And when she, like, uh, does what she wants, she's really passionate about things. Which is what you, we lack with actors and actresses nowadays. They lack the real passion that Linda has. So you can say Linda was somewhat of a throwback to the old Hollywood days. Like, her idol, Betty Davis. So anyway, like, um, the reason why I like Linda so much is because she's one of my biggest crushes when I was a teenager watching Freaks and Geeks back when I was on... NBC back in 99 to 2000. That was my junior year at Kamiak High School in Mukilteo, not too far from where I'm here on this bus stop. And she really brings the characters to life. Like, uh, she actually was playing the different kind of characters, unlike most actresses we've seen right now. She actually plays different types of roles. Like, Lindsay Ware was basically the geek turned freak. Although she's kind of the, you know, the mathly, basically the queen bee of the geeks to being like one of the freaks. Which is kind of like the cool character transition like she goes through like in the whole one season, even though it's not really a full season of Freaks and Geeks because the shitty ratings back in the day, 99, 2000, it's not like today where you get to have, choose which seasons you want to go along to with the streaming and stuff. Back in network TV days, they want the seasons to be a... If you get, like, the decent ratings, you can have, like, more than one season. But this one didn't even have a full season, which sucked because most of the episodes I've watched, I don't think, I don't think there's one bad episode in Freaks and Geeks. Not one bad episode. Except for that one ending at the series finale they had, but I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, well, but that's my personal opinion. People love that ending, but I didn't, but... Enough about Freaks and Geeks, I'll probably talk about that later, but about Linda. She's very passionate in what she does. She treats her fans well when she gets to meet fans. I've never seen her, like, a cop an attitude or thinking she's better than everybody. She's very low-key, and which is what I love about in most actresses and celebrities these days, low-key. Very humble. You know, never forgets who she was before she went to Hollywood. She still has that kind of nice personality, warm personality about her. Which is what I love about her, other than, you know, her looks and everything, obviously. Because I'm attracted to her. But that's either here nor there. So, anyway. I just want to let you know, I wish Linda could get more roles. But hey, pretty soon she might be. Because the way she's been acting on Dead to Me and everything, I wouldn't be surprised if scripts kept playing her way. And I hope she doesn't get a thick head about it. So I hope she retains her personality like what I love about Linda.